About noon around the Capitol, the place was a buzz because the new governor, Bruce Rauner, was delivering his first state of the state address. Uh, the dust has settled. The Capitol is quiet once again. You've had a chance to not only hear and see his speech, but to really kind of think about it and digest what he had to say. What do you think of, of that speech and, and uh, the, the kinds of things that he was talking about, the goals and the challenges? Well, I think he identified the challenges um, quite frankly and very honestly. They're significantly larger and um, more difficult than I think even he anticipated when he first was elected. Now that he's had the opportunity to come in and really look at the numbers, um, I think he iterated what he had talked about throughout his campaign. I don't think that there were any surprises. Um, I will admit to you, I am inv invigorated. I think that um, the dynamics, uh, while unusual and, and perhaps um, a little bumpy in the beginning are great. Uh, balances is typically difficult to start with, but I do believe we'll have excellent dialogue. Um, he sent out a very clear agenda, um, indicated it right from the very get-go that he wanted to work in a bipartisan fashion. He understood that there would be give and take. He focused in on the things that are most important to me, which are um, looking at property taxes and trying to address the high rising cost of property taxes and home ownership. He talked about the creation of jobs and a booming economy. And then he also talked about you know his priority, which is education. Um, as a former educator, Educated, I concur. You don't get a skilled workforce. You don't get people interested in remaining in your state unless you can thrive and you have a job and, you know, can provide for your families. It seems as though the speech compared to uh, recent state of the state addresses seemed to be the difference between a uh, person treading water uh, out in the middle of a lake and someone actively swimming across that lake. You know what? I couldn't think of a better analogy myself. It's it's absolutely true, and he is committed to finishing the swim, and he knows that there's going to be rough waters ahead. He's he's admitted that freely, um, but he really is committed, and I will give him, regardless of what anybody says, you know, about some of the comments that he made, he truly is committed to turning this state around, and you have to admire a man for wanting to do that and setting out a very aggressive program in, in which to um, be successful.